Virginia Jeffrey, 38, described how Maxwell, 60, took advantage of her and detailed the lasting impact the horrific abuse had on her. Maxwell was convicted in December by a federal jury on five charges, including sex trafficking, for recruiting and grooming four girls between 1994 and 2004 for sexual encounters with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, then her boyfriend. She is being sentenced today, and could face up to 65 years in prison. Mose Jeffrey previously accused Prince Andrew of sexual abuse in connection with Jeffrey Epstein earlier this year, but both parties agreed on an out-of-court settlement, which does not amount to an admission of guilt by the prince. Prince Andrew has strenuously denied all of Mose Jeffrey's allegations. As one of the most high-profile cases during the hashtag MeToo movement, the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell has been regarded as the reckoning Epstein never had, after he was found dead in a prison cell in 2019 after taking his own life. Four women testified in court that Maxwell was a central figure in Epstein's years of abuse. Damning victim impact statements were released ahead of the hearing as Mose Jeffrey said the British socialite deserves to spend the rest of her life in prison for introducing her and others to Epstein. Mose Jeffrey directed her statement at Maxwell, as she said, I want to be clear about one thing, without question, Jeffrey Epstein was a terrible paedophile. But I never would have met Jeffrey Epstein if not for you. For me, and for so many others, you opened the door to hell. Accusing Maxwell of failing to step in and prevent the horrific acts of abuse, which Mose Jeffrey says the socialite also took part in. The victim then detailed how much the crimes continue to affect her to this day. She said, I have trouble meeting new people without questioning if somehow they are going to hurt me, too. I don't allow my children to stay over at friends' houses, or to walk down the street alone. I don't trust anyone to be near them without me or my husband close by. I am hyper-vigilant, because I know that evil exists. You taught me that. She closed her statement by telling Maxwell that while she tried to break her, she didn't succeed. Ms. Jeffrey added, My promise to you is as follows. As long as you and perpetrators like you continue to prey upon the vulnerable, I will not stop standing up and speaking out. I will never give up. I will never go away. If you ever get out of prison, I will be here, watching you, making sure you never hurt anyone else again. Other victims also shared their harrowing stories of abuse, describing the way Maxwell and Epstein worked their way into their lives and took advantage of them.